Welcome back to Infigam, my dear friends. Today in this video, we are going to solve one very interesting and challenging exponential equation. It is 5 power 2x plus 5 over 5 power x plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 over 5 power 2x equal to 1 x cannot be equal to negative 1 and we have to find out real solutions only. So I will begin with the two most important properties of exponents a power b plus c. Any time we can write a power b times a power c. And second property which I will use here a power b times c can be written as a power b whole power c. Let us apply both the properties to our equation. So I can write 5 power x plus 1. Using property 1, it will be 5 times 5 power x and 5 power 2x. Using property 2, I can write 5 power x whole square. Let us apply to our equation. I will write 5 power 2x as 5 power x whole square plus 5 over 5 times 5 power x minus 1 minus 1 over 5 power x whole square equal to 1. Now let us use our substitution. Let 5 power x equal to a. So our equation will transform into a square plus 5 over 5a minus 1 minus 1 over a square equal to 1. Now I will take 1 over a square to the right and this one I will take to the left. See what will come out? a square plus 5 over 5a minus 1 minus 1 equal to 1 over a square. Now I will take LCM in LHS. So a square plus 5 minus 5a plus 1 divided by 5a minus 1 equal to 1 over a square. Now 5 and 1 I will add, it will give us 6. So a square minus 5a plus 6 divided by 5a minus 1 equal to 1 over a square. Now I can cross multiply as a is always greater than 0 because it is 5 power x. I will write a square times a square minus 5a plus 6 equal to 5a minus 1. So I can write a power 4 minus 5a cube plus 6a square. Let us write 5a minus 1 to the left minus 5a plus 1 equal to 0. Now this is one quartic equation. I will solve using the help of reciprocal equation. So I will be writing here a power 4 minus 5a cube plus 6a square minus 5a plus 1 equal to 0. Let us divide both sides by a square because a cannot be 0. So I will be writing here divided by a square and I will be writing here divided by a square. So this will become a square minus 5a plus 6 minus 5 over a plus 1 over a square. Right hand side is 0. Now I will write a square and last term 1 over a square in one bracket. Second and second last term minus 5 is common. So I will be writing a plus 1 over a 
plus 6 equal to 0. Now it's substitution time. I will consider let a plus 1 over a equal to u. So I will be writing here this is a square plus 1 over a square. So from this equation we can write a square plus 1 over a square by considering whole square both sides plus 2 equal to u square. So from here we are having a square plus 1 over a square equal to u square minus 2. So I will be writing here u square minus 2 in this place. Now minus 5u plus 6 equal to 0. Let us simplify further. So I will be writing u square minus 5u plus 4 equal to 0. This is one quadratic equation in u. Let's solve this equation first. So I will be writing u square minus 5u plus 4 equal to 0. Let's apply quadratic formula this time. u equal to minus b. So minus of minus 5 plus 5. Plus minus square root b square. So minus 5 square 25 minus 4ac. So it will become 16 divided by 2a so 2. Now I will be writing 5 plus minus square root 9 divided by 2. Further I can write 5 plus minus 3 over 2. With plus sign it will become 8 over 2. With minus sign this will be 2 over 2. So we are getting u equal to 4 and 1. Now u was our substitution u was a plus 1 over a. So let us put a plus 1 over a equal to 1 and 4. Now I will frame two equations. I will be writing here a plus 1 over a equal to 1. a plus 1 over a equal to 4. So because a is non-zero, so I can multiply both sides with a. So I will be writing here a square plus 1 equal to a or a square minus a plus 1 equal to 0. Let me check only discriminant value delta. It is b square minus 4ac as per formula. So let me consider capital letters because a is already there. So b square I will write minus 1 square. Minus 4 times the coefficient of a square is 1. So capital A is 1. C is also 1. So this is 1 minus 4 which is negative 3. Because of this is negative it will generate complex solutions. So we can reject this. Now the turn of second equation. Again I will multiply both sides with a. So it will become a square plus 1 equal to 4a. Or a square minus 4a plus 1 equal to 0. So from here I can consider quadratic formula. Minus b so 4 plus minus under the root. Minus 4 square is 16 minus 4ac. So minus 4 divided by 2a. So 2 equal to 4 plus minus 16 minus 4 is 12. So I can write root 12 over 2. Further can be written as 4 plus minus 4 times 3. So it will become 2 root 3 over 2. Or we can write 2 plus minus root 3. This is the value of a. And a is always greater than 0 
because it is 5 power x exponential function. So I will be writing here a equal to 2 plus minus root 3. Both values are positive. Root 3 is 1.732. So both values are greater than 0. Let us put back the value of substitution a. So 5 power x equal to 2 plus minus root 3. Now I will consider log both sides. So let us write log base is 10. 5 power x equal to log 2 plus minus root 3. Altogether. So I will use here one property of log log a power b it is equal to b log a so i will use this property this x will come as a multiplier so it will become x log 5 equal to log 2 plus minus square root 3 divide both sides by log 5 so I will write x is equal to log 2 plus minus root 3 divided by log 5. Now we know that log a over log b it is equal to log a base b. So I can write x is equal to log with base 5 and values are 2 plus minus square root 3. So this is our ultimate answer. If you will find out values, then this value will be x is equal to plus minus. With plus sign it is plus. With minus sign in between, then we will be having minus. So I will write 0 0.8182. This is the real solution for this exponential challenge. And this brings the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching friends. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye-bye.